Okay, for starters, uh, I have on fortified brass and it's five piece with nothing else on just so we can see the stats. Right now this character is at 24, 7 and 20 on its resistances. If we go ahead and switch that out for Pariah. You can see that we only dropped down to 22 and then the 17 and a half. So we're losing a little over 2000 resistance off of our consistent total. However, we still have all the extra resistance we're gonna gain as we lose our health. So there's, um, Already 3,000 of that 11,000 from the fifth piece being applied to our character. So we have another 8,000 resistance that we will gain as we lose our health versus the 2,500 resistance that's a steady and a constant number. Now, when you talk about comparing that with somebody that's a vampire character, the vampires are already getting that damage mitigation the lower their health goes. So this synergizes really well with that. Because of the fact that Pariah and we can now trait change, like our jewelry and things of that nature, there's times where I've run Pariah as my defense is set on light armor characters. Uh, the last time I had Emperor, I had a shield stacking Sork, uh, you know, the meta Sork build that I do, and I put Pariah on it with its jewelry and weapons. So I had a light armor character that, you know, had a crap load of resistance and really high health, 20k shields. So there are ways that you can use Pariah, uh, even on light armor, medium armor characters, that takes away the advantage that fortified brass once had with it being a craftable set at this point in time the only time i really would recommend running fortified brass is if you have to have it on your body and you don't want it to be a heavy armor character uh, to me, the benefits of getting the extra 8,000 resistance as you lose your health, especially on vampire builds, uh, just really outweighs and outperforms the fortified brass at this point. Okay, everyone, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It was just a really quick, simple comparison between the two. I hope that answers the questions that some of the people were having. If there's anything about any of my builds that you guys are wondering about, uh, please just leave a comment below and I'll answer them the best I can, as soon as I can. Um, if you guys are wanting more ESO content, uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you receive the notifications. And thanks for your time.